hello to everybody from Tibetan Bead and Wool Shop and this little video will be a little review or introduction to one absolutely gorgeous project which is absolutely perfect for all summer knitting or crochet. So what you see here is this wonderful shawl or beginning of the wonderful shawl uh, which I've been warned before I started it's not a sprint it's a marathon so what is there is a shawl from uh, using pattern from a Shepis yarn uh, and it's called crochet between the lines it is available for knitters as well under the name which is here read between the lines so you can do exactly the same shawl in knitting or crochet the patterns are only found for a booklet but there we come to the interesting part and uh, most of you maybe who will be watching this video already know about Shepis Worlds. I hope I pronounced the name Shepis correctly, possibly not, but that's how I do it. We can call it how we like it because it's a Dutch company and it is quite difficult pronunciation. But forget all that. The yarn is something we would like to talk about because if you see these beautiful cake yarns here, look at the colors, look at the combination. And what you can see in this shawl, which we tried to show you from the beginning, uh, this shawl is using two bowls. Uh, what I have used is, I will show you the full size bowls. I have used frosted wool, which is with just a tiniest, tiniest gentle sparkle, which is nearly invisible. But it's so beautiful, so delicate, that I think it adds to the project. And the other colour which I've been using is this one, which is Pistachio So Nice. So, and as you can see in this shawl, the frosted rose glitter is nearly invisible. But you can see from here, I have started one bowl from outside and another bowl from inside. And that is at the moment my two working bowls and the yarn goes forever that's why it's marathon but as you can see i have already achieved a little bit of gradual color change it's the dark red changing to pale pink and the pale green changing to much darker deeper green which you can see here in this little bowl and this one is there only because i have used this yarn for something else which i unpicked that's why half of the bowl is like that if you work straight from the bowl, you will have nice, neat, tidy bowls, right? Now then, there are crochet groups on Facebook and you will see that there are as many people, as many color combinations. And you really need to be brave and just go for two colors you really like and just see and allow magic to happen. Because really, it's so unpredictable, but I haven't seen one combination which I haven't liked yet. So at the moment, uh, we have put here in a box two colors, which I thought could make something very, very interesting. And again, here you can see the knitting pattern, but you can always choose which one you would like to do, which, which technique is better for you. And I must say, it's one of those projects which you will not do constant, or I can do constantly. But now and then I sit down in the evening and I do five, six rows. So, and I'm, I truly, truly enjoy it. Uh, I must say that when I looked on the Facebook groups, I know there are people who are very, very aware of their tensions. Is it correct? 100%. Uh, there are people counting pattern uh, repeats and now possibly I will be chastised for it. I have no idea on which repeat I am. I'm just thinking in the pattern, it does say on the back, how many grams or how many ounces you need to have yarn left for the finishing row which is kind of slightly different pattern and i will just like my saturday girl says wing it <laughs> <laughs> so i'm winging it at the moment my tension seems fine i just double checked before the video and i'm only on the on the wrist i'm fine on the height i'm only uh two rows out of tension so I think I'm pretty okay-ish. And as it's a shawl, I'm not worried. It's not a jumper where you need to grow into or grow out of. 
so I'm truly enjoying it and other thing where this project is absolutely perfect for this time of the year the yarn is 50% or sorry let's be accurate let's be very very accurate and say that it is 57% cotton and 38% acrylic on this one which is the frost and 60% cotton and 40% acrylic on the standard whirls and it's perfect to take for holidays if you have two two weeks holidays and you think like i need something with me the first thing is it's a pleasure to work in a hot weather because it's not wool it's not fluffy and another thing is all you need to take with you is two balls and that takes very very little space i have my two balls in this little travel bag so i can take with me for weekends and whenever i go somewhere and yeah that's basically it just have a go uh the one thing is very surprising and i know people when they first time use whirls they really agonize about colors and i always say just pick the colors you like if you like blues and greens just go for anything like these like this one is absolutely stunning and again if you would like to do the double whirl crochet between the lines or read between the lines for knitting you can do this one and to be honest any color here even look at that how wild would that be that would be gorgeous and uh yeah just pick your colors this shawl is something totally different but this one i think is a good example of what happens with the colors in the world this is the ball and this is how it looks on a single shawl which is this pattern you can get on our website which is www.feedandwoolshop.co.uk and if you go into our blog or news you will find there a free download for this one because really it's a pattern but it's not a pattern because it's a garter stitch basically carry on knitting <laughs> but you can see how the colors have opened up and how beautiful and how different it looks from the ball so don't be afraid take a dip and just pick your color and have a go whichever way but this one is i really can't wait to finish but i think it will take me a couple more months i think by end of the summer it's just purely because i don't work on it every day so that is it i think it's a wonderful project the only one thing i would quickly go over as well is this yarn has joints and at the moment I do not see any joint coming and I know there's been different talks about joints in the in these gradual or gradient yarns there is no other way to produce them or manufacture them there will be a knot or there will be a joint or like some people call it will has uh, buzz fuzz so it's kind of the, the joints are blown together but as you can see on the shawl on the finished project you cannot find the joints if i know where they are i could look for them but i don't think it's an issue so you pick your colors today and just have a go and by the way there are other patterns as well available from shippies and there is one which is very popular stormy day shawl which only takes one ball and again all the pattern booklets are only a pound and there is one for knitters again a bit more interesting ver more interesting version than this one and just carry on knitting or crocheting thank you